What is going on guys? The Gaming Ram here and welcome back to Beeman G Drive. And today we um are right now we are in a different state as you guys may see. We are back down here in Tennessee. And basically um I don't want to show you guys what's on the right of me right now, but so basically um we are renting out this uh little house. It's a very nice little cozy little house. Uh, we got the charger down here. Uh, we're going to be getting started on that build. And it's a nice little house, you know. Just something to stay in while we're down here. And that's why I was like, you know, it's perfect, you know. It's not going it's not going to be a permanent house. It's just a temporary house for now down here in Tennessee. So when we come down to Tennessee, we have somewhere to stay. Um, it's, and until we find a, a better place, you know, but we got the van life van parked down here. Uh, this seems like a perfect opportunity to park it, you know, somewhere nice. Um, it's out of the way. Uh, we, we got to figure what we're going to do with that van. I don't really know what I want to do with it, but it's just, it's here for now. Uh, we got the, our enclosed trailer, uh, down here as well. It's a perfect spot to put it, you know. Uh, the neighbor, <laughs> so basically the neighbors may not like it, but you know, I, I, at the end of the day, I got nowhere else really to put it until I get like a shop. I really can't put it anywhere. And like I say, so th this is what's gonna, we're gonna leave that trailer down here. And I did buy the Chevy 3500. So I am now the owner of a Chevy 2017 Chevy Silverado 2020, uh, 20, yeah. 2017 Chevy Silverado 3500 Cummins, uh, uh, the, the Duramax, not Cummins. Um, and I got a really good deal on it, and it's a great freaking tow rig, and I am excited. Now, as you guys may know, I had sold the drift car. The drift car is no longer with us. We sold it, and don't, don't, before you guys get mad or whatever, hear me out. Now, right on the right of this truck, I had gotten, I wouldn't pick this car up, um, literally just got it here, and I can finally show you guys what's going to be the replacement for the drift car. You guys ready? It's right here, parked up. You see it? You see it? So, without further ado, what car did we buy? We bought ourselves a freaking GTR. This is a R32. And it is a really, really, really clean car. It's really clean. Um, the, the previous owner took really good care of the car. It is, in fact, a right-hand drive car. This car is going to be a much better platform for what we're going to be doing. Um, but, you know, a right-hand drive car, GTR, in really good condition you know, and I mean, the owner took very, very good care of the car, um, we can hop in, I take you guys for a quick drive, uh, fire it up, it has the 2.6 liter V, uh, the 2.6, uh, the 2.6 liter engine in it, It's really nice. Um, but this is where we're going to store most of our stuff and our junk. So let's hop in a charger. And uh, we're going to take it over to the shop. They're going to be working on the car. Uh, and this is the reason I wanted this car over here is because we're not going to work on this car. I'm going to have them build it because we got to try to get ready for Pike's Peak because the Charger is what's going to be doing the run on Pike's Peak. So it needs a lot of work and we got a lot of projects. We're going back and forth between different states um, and we need something that I need someone that can build this car for me that is going 
so that way we can do Pike's Peak on time. Uh, so I gotta try to find where this shop is at, cause I I have no idea. This is like all new to me. One hour later. Um, as you guys can see, they work on everything. Um, like this sleeper Camaro over here. Um, that's a turbo. That's a turbo car, believe it or not. They got a BMW over here. You got a Mercedes. And they have this. What is this? Mercedes? Yep. Another Mercedes truck. This one's really nice. But we're going to be dropping this car off. Um, they said it should be done by, hopefully, by the end of the week. So you guys are going to see a brand new Charger. Um... Because this car is going to get a lot of work done. I'm going to pop the hood and I'm going to show you guys. So basically for what you guys see right here right now is a 3.6 liter V6. Um, and I know what you're thinking. You're going to keep this engine in here. Yes. And the reason we're going to keep this engine in here is because the plan is to throw a turbo on this engine. Um, so basically I can kind of give you guys what we're going to do with it. Uh, we're going to turbo the car. We're going to lower it. Um, and we're going to get some new wheels and tires. Uh, maybe a body kit, uh, weight reduction, a full-on cu custom exhaust. So this car is going to get all the beans that we're going to need to be able to do Pike's Peak. Uh, I want this car to be able to handle. I want it to be able to hug curves like no other. I want this car to be something that no other V6 Charger has ever gone before. Um, call me crazy, but that's the plan. Uh, we got a lot of work planned ahead, and this is a very nice, re reliable shop down here in Tennessee, so I was like, yeah, I don't mind dropping it off down here. So that's exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to let them build the car, and hopefully we get it back. It's going to be a lot faster, quicker, nimble. It's going to be able to do everything that normal and typically average V6 charger wouldn't be able to do. So... You guys want to stay tuned for that build because it's going to be freaking epic and I cannot wait. We got to have some type of rental car if they're going to have that car for a week. And I am now near my house and I'm not about to call Uber. So they're going to let me take the Mercedes truck. Uh, so basically this is like really nice of a, a freaking deal, I have to say, you know. So they rent out this truck so yeah it's seen a lot of action i can tell you that much i mean if they have this type as a rental yeah i i, I trust them i mean if they're gonna let me drive this for dropping off a v6 to work on and this is like top level because it's not stock this is not your typical normal truck but you know, this is a well over a hundred thousand dollar truck with all the work they that the truck is the, from what the truck is even is and the work that they put into it. Yeah, they put a this is a this is a big big money upgrade. But uh, I'm I'm excited though to drive it because listen to it, <laughs> listen to it. It's a quick truck. So believe it or not, this truck still ha um it still is on the stock engine block with the uh turbo. A hundred and seventy miles an hour, just full going. Keep on going. Keep her going. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, we stopped here at Burger World. We're gonna end our day here. Give me something to eat, and we're gonna head back to the house, mess around. But first, I just wanted to. Just completely admire this Mercedes truck. It is amazing. I love it. It is a great, great freaking 
animal. Like it, it just, I, I, it's unbelievable that it just they slapped a turbo on this truck on a stock engine block, and it just, it's so good. It's such a good platform, and the engine is so solid. You know, the cooling system and all that is all stock. Like, they did not do anything besides put a turbo on the engine, and it handles it. It continuously keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. Uh, it's not the fastest truck in the world, but for a truck, it's pretty quick for an SUV. Um, I don't know if it's quicker than a BMW or a Porsche uh, Cayenne, but... It's a pretty quick truck. I'm not going to lie to you about that. But anyway, guys, we just wanted to drop the charger off today so it can get worked on. Uh, Pikes Peak, we're going to try to hit uh, Pikes Peak up by uh, May 5th. So hopefully the charger gets done before then. I hope so. If not, we got to figure something else out. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.